and welcome back to my let's play of Total War Rome 2. And uh, yes, today I really, really hope we'll be able to finish the civil war in Spain. I've been saying that for so many parts now, but uh, I feel like today is the first time uh, that it might actually be true. And we are also going to take back part of what uh, was ours in uh, Sicily. So let's land our army. What is this? Oh yeah, the Marco Manai. Uh, well, let's expand that, uh, that place. Build a suburbia. Okay, so what can we do? We can attack that place, which I probably shouldn't do. This army needs to replenish. This army needs to replenish as well. Okay, awesome. So let's uh, end the turn and see what happens. Well, I'm not actually sure if I'll be able to finish the civil war in uh, in Spain. But at least I'm going to take back Saguntum. So that only leaves uh, Taraco. Um, or we are going to fight the rebel army and destroy their presence in Spain. That's, uh, that seems to be a very good option. So let's see, infantry wise, well they have more infantry, but my infantry is more experienced a little bit. Um. Well, yeah. Missile wise, I don't know. I think I have the better troops. And, well, I have cavalry superiority, so I should use that. Um, let's see. You know what, I think I'm going to keep my, uh, my guys in this formation, more or less. Do something like, uh, like this. Close enough. Because, well, last time, you know, they all charged like in one area, which caused one or two units to suffer a lot of casualties. And hopefully, this way, um, you know, they can still charge all in one area, but my, you know, my, my army is now deeper. Ah, there they are. Oh, so they've chosen a different formation. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't trust this. Um... Wait, I don't want them to be like that. I want them more there. Everyone fights. No one stops. 
mercenary Iberian swordsmen walking around with spears. Well, I guess technically they are uh, javelins. No, Here we have some of the auxiliary cavalry. Are these the vigilies? would be a good deployment. Well, it looks like they are going to try to surround me. So that is not really what I want. Um, okay, let's send out my cavalry to the flanks. See if I can lure away at least the enemy cavalry and perhaps even some infantry units. It looks like I'm succeeding on this side. Also looks like I am winning the, uh, the skirmishing fight. Very easily. Man, those Egyptian archers are terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Or my my uh, slingers are actually that good. Uh-oh. I did not expect that to, uh, to happen. I'll see if I can uh, get something done over here. Oh, why is this cavalry unit so tough? Get, just die. Uh-oh. Yeah, still losing a lot of... Uh, Units on the flanks. But I got rid of their their cavalry unit. So if I can just retreat here. Uh, where is the cavalry unit? Yeah, it really looks like I, I'll be able to uh, to hold the line on, like, the majority of the front. You go that way, you go that way. You attack that side, you attack that side. Uh, let's charge in again. Oh, yeah, they are uh, running. So that was to be expected. Um, these guys don't have anything to do, so... Did 
these guys run? No, they're they're still there. Okay, let's charge them in the back and that should finish them off. Uh, charge those guys. So I think we can uh, safely assume that the enemy is uh, defeated. Uh, they st they're still holding on here in the center. Really, how long is that going to last? Just one good charge should be enough to uh, route all of these guys. Yep, it was. Well, we did it even uh, without having these guys over here route, so that's good. Now just to hunt down all the legionaries. I don't really care about those archers, I want uh, the legionaries down. Uh, you stop firing because that can only end badly. Um, there are some legionaries. There are some more legionaries. There are some more legionaries. Really, as long as I can defeat the legionaries, um, you know, I'm fine with the result. Because I'm pretty sure the... I don't have any barracks in uh, Terraco. Not entirely sure, though. Okay, see if you could chase down those uh, Egyptians. Seven legionaries. Okay, so those Egyptians are gone. Veteran legionaries. Um, maybe I shouldn't hunt them down. But there's a good chance the general is dead already, so might as well hunt them down. Oh, I thought for a moment this was a body, but uh, it wasn't. And this guy is in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> oh, or not. He actually survived that. Now, this army currently isn't in a position to actually take Taraco, but um, taking Taraco will be so much easier now. Unless, of course, the uh, the enemy ships in another army. If they do that, um, I will hate them forever. Basically. God. <laughs> ah, they, they managed to escape, I think. Yeah, one guy, two guys made it. Well, anyway, let's uh, quit the battle. Close victory. Uh, was it that close? Well, I don't think so. Well, I, I did lose a third of my uh, my forces, but the enemy basically lost everything. They lost all their legionaries. Yeah, they, they basically lost all their infantry, except for maybe the mercenary swordsman and uh, one archer unit. I think I may... Oh, they lost the entire army. That's also fine. Or even better. Was this the army uh, commanded by Pompey? Or was Pompey 
injured. Might be that Pompey is injured. Hmm. Agent was definitely injured. Appius, Axius, Hadrianus. Uh, yes, Pompey is injured. But for how long? Three turns. That's that's quite long. Oh, I can secure a promotion. Why not? Because it costs a lot of money. Okay, uh, better retreat. No, I need I need at least like one turn to get this army up to strength. Now, this is actually quite a problem. Because I have so many generals now from my side. I'm going to have another civil war. Like, right after this. Because I can't just get rid of these guys immediately. Are you ready to serve Rome? Are you ready to serve Rome? Ready for well, yes I am. Army leveled up, so that's always nice. Um, inexorable conquerors. Did they do something fishy in here? I don't think so. So yeah, next turn I think it's time to move up to um, Saguntum. Or a Taraco, I mean, and finally, finally end this war. And you lost 50% movement, but that doesn't matter because it's enough to reach Aggregentum. So we'll take that. I don't know, I had suspected, you know, more of a fight from, uh, from Sicily. Although he does have a, a navy there. But what is the income of uh, these guys? Can I can I see what the wealth is of like um, what's this called? Sardinia e Corsica. I think. 1190. And then there is. Uh, yeah, un like another 1200. Here on Sicily. So they basically have very little wealth. Which will become less and less, because next turn I think I will take Panormus. Uh, Publius Navius Lavinus. Who is that? This guy. Sure, you will get uh, the night battle thingy. At your command. Uh, oh yeah, I, I kind of wanted to build a navy, but I don't think I have the infrastructure for it. Yeah, if I take Terraco, I will be able to construct a decent navy in this part of the Mediterranean. And... Oh yeah, I believe this was my shipyard, wasn't it? Oh, I can't see. Uh, I 
apparently I can see Carolis. Oh well. As long, yeah, okay, good. I want to say, as long as he doesn't barge in like a giant army, I'm going to be just fine over here. I still feel like I should declare war on the Micromana, I just to sink that fleet. Ah, oh, damn it. St stupid agents. Leave my army that is recruiting alone. It's not, you know, it's not any threat to you. Really, did you really have to poison this army? Not that it really matters. Come, fight for Rome. Uh, so this army has slingers. So, uh, yeah, okay, so these three armies are actually uh, of really high quality, and this army is also of high quality. Okay, let's just finish it and take Terraco. Let's just auto-resolve it. There, done. Who is rank 6? The commander, okay. Uh, let's give him Dread. To lower the morale. Man, he has 301 Gravitas. That's, uh, that's quite a lot. Uh, how's the army doing? Yeah, as I expected, it's not doing great, but... Uh, you know, if it's going to be attacked... You know, it's not going to fall over and die. It's going to be able to put up a good fight. Um, can't really build anything there. So they left these guys alone. Uh, what's the garrison in here? Small. But if there is an army in here, it shouldn't be big anyway. So I can take this place. And then next turn, I don't know, I might actually be able to reach uh, Syracuse, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But if I can, that would be great. Steal more wealth from... Uh, what is this? Enemy patrician. Okay, so they do... Yeah, I think I made a shipyard out of uh, this province. Which I should really do... Uh, like, I should really build like two navies. Uh, one like here to be able to deal with armies that cross in this area. One like here. Maybe even a third to guard the area over here. But I don't think Egypt is going to be big threat. How's Anthony doing? Uh, yeah, he's not doing... well... Okay, they're doing okay. Look, are the, are the Marco Mani, are they actually... Okay, so they are one of those roaming factions. Okay, that's that, that does explain it. I saw that army. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know if that the champion did anything, though. I 
I'm really curious where that army is going because no, most of the time, those uh, you know those roaming armies they will attack like their home province or one of their enemies' provinces. Do they really have enemies in this area? Well, actually, now I think about it, maybe uh, Octavian. Are they at war with Octavian? No, Octavian is at war with me. The Daco Thracians, the Cheruski, and the Quadi. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go there. Waiting for more orders. Just to Ready scare this orders. guy away. Victory for Rome! With his small on, shitty yeah. army. Uh, this army st still isn't recovered. But it's getting close. But this one uh, really took a beating. So I'll just keep the army, I guess, over Advance. here. So this way, they won't be able to sneak past me. Uh, this force can just move, I guess, over there. Just in case they try, Octavian tries to sneak an army past that area. I think this army is in full retreat. Uh, I should do something risky with this army. I want hourly patrols. I am going to try and land here in I'm going to try and land here in uh, Corsica. Because as far as I can see in here, oh, I can actually see in here as well. Yeah, so basically, Carolus doesn't have a food supply. I think maybe they might actually be running out of food. Yeah, this province is at minus two. And what is Syracuse? Okay, Syracuse. I, I don't have a few on Syracuse, so... Um, do I have it now? No. And I should just post an army here. Syracuse is at minus eight. Oh crap, they might be converting that. Uh, um... Hmm, how am I going to do this? Because I'm pretty sure they are busy converting the, uh, the gladiator school to like the, um, I don't know, the market building that is, um, that provides a bit of food. So I, I might just wait one turn. Yeah, let's wait one turn. Just hope this army isn't going to be intercepted by uh, a navy. Although maybe I can actually finish this right now. That's might be possible. Although it does have a good garrison. Hmm. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll wait. I think next turn a trist. Well. Or didn't they add something in the civil wars that f short that food shortages don't apply to the rebel faction? You know that's something that made sense in the, like the previous system, because at, 
that would basically mean like most of the time your capital but it could also be another province but it was always like a province capital um, it would revolt with and then you know spawn like well it depended a little bit on how powerful you were but about the same amount of armies that you had of like top quality units Which army is that? This one. Damn it. Uh, he's being blackmailed. Well, I'll do nothing. Ready for battle. And why? 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 Am I suddenly making so much less money? Because I. You know, nothing really happened. Maybe I'm getting like raided somewhere. Guess that's a possibility. And you are transport. Well, I am going to deny you a chance to land. Your next command. At your command. March. Ready for further orders. But yeah, it really looks like they don't have the, uh, the... They aren't affected by hunger. Hmm. Well, um, I guess, because I, I really don't want them to convert. Um, I really don't want them to convert that building because that's going to cost me money. But on the other hand, it's not going to like help them with that situation. I don't know, I don't really have the time to actually fight a battle. Uh, well, actually it looks like the garrison is being affected by uh, by hunger. So let's, uh, let's continue the siege actually. Get a tortoise done. And uh, then we'll see what happens next turn if they will decide to attack me or you know whatever else but I'm kind of hoping that with me taking Syracuse that that would be enough to actually end this war but it most likely isn't Oh my god, get your stupid agents out of here. Well, at least that guy didn't attack. Oh crap, it's... Uh, the Navy is attacking Aggregentum. Oh well, uh, that at least, let's see, well, everything would be a decisive defeat. There's no way I can fight off these navies. So, I guess I will, well, actually, it's, no, I don't have to, the unit quality. I guess I'll go for protective stance. Might cause some damage. Yeah, it caused a little bit of damage to the uh, enemy ships.
yep, hunger is uh, getting them. Research complete. And let's get uh, engineering. I don't think there's anything I really have to get in other categories. Although this upgrade is uh, is pretty nice, but uh, I won't get that right now. Uh, might actually get this ship ram, but uh, no, I'll I'll stick with engineering. Help out in the you know in the whole business of siege warfare. So my army is suffering from attrition as well, but you know, it's not as bad as the enemy. Although this was actually not the best move. I, I should have attacked Agrigentum. Well, I, I don't think I could actually. You know, now, now I think about it, I... Uh, This province actually supplies them with quite a bit of food. Unless they... Ugh. Rebels, you can go fuck yourself. You know that? Well, at, well, at least... <laughs> they more or less did. They destroyed like the food buildings in there. So <laughs> the situation is even worse now. But oh, that pisses me off. Anyway, um, that will have to be uh, it for today so next time um, and they attack this army again but yes uh, today we actually got far more done than I expected I expected to finish the war in Spain not finish the war altogether so uh, that was good and this guy He's trying to replenish, <laughs> you know, trying to recruit an army, but uh, doesn't have the food to actually maintain it. Which is always a good strategy, but uh, next time we will most likely maybe not deal the killing blow, but we will be able to take Aggregantum back. And uh, I also assume we'll take Alaria and probably march into, um, into Gaul as well. Including this army, if uh, the AI allows it. Uh, okay, sorry guy, I am going to fire you. And replace you with Pompey. There. But anyway, um, that was it for today. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll speak to you guys next time.